Venezuela. Tonight, former President Trump doubling down on a 2024 campaign flashpoint, immigration. Millions of illegal border crossers have entered the country unlawfully. In a recent post, Trump sharing a new campaign video set to horror music, showing thousands of migrants said to be traveling to the U.S. from many countries. Trump promising in the ad to crack down. We will secure our borders and we will restore our sovereignty. It comes as Trump prepares to visit Michigan Tuesday in the wake of the death of a Grand Rapids woman, Ruby Garcia, allegedly at the hands of an undocumented immigrant who police say was in a romantic relationship with her. Authorities say he'd been previously deported during the Trump administration. This is a horrible incident with Ruby. What what a horrible thing. We had a tough policy of getting the bad ones out, and we were getting the bad ones out, and now the bad ones are coming in at a level that nobody's ever seen before. Trump has made his hardline stance on immigration and migrants a hallmark of his political image. When Mexico sends its people, they're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. But in recent months, Trump has escalated his rhetoric on immigration. They're poisoning the blood of our country. That's what they've done. President Biden has tried to turn the tables on Trump, blasting him for ordering congressional Republicans to kill a bipartisan border bill. I'm told my predecessor called members of Congress in the Senate to demand they block the bill. He feels political win. He viewed it as a, it would be a political win for me and a political loser for him. But new polling shows Americans, and even some Democrats, are siding with Trump on the issue. A new survey shows 68% of Americans disapprove of President Biden's handling of the border, including 4 in 10 Democrats. That includes more than half of black adults and nearly three quarters of Hispanics. And while nearly half of U.S. adults hold President Biden responsible for America's border problems, only 35% say the same about former President Trump. The Biden campaign now forced to reckon with a decades-old wedge issue as the 2024 race rests on a razor's edge. All right, Gabe Gutierrez joins us tonight from the White House. Gabe, the Biden campaign has known the border as a political liability for years now. So what are they doing to counteract this messaging from former President Trump? Well, hey there, Tom. Well, one thing that the Biden campaign is doing is really focusing on money here. So far, the Biden team over the last couple of uh, months has really been outpacing Republicans when it comes to fundraising. And now they say that they're opening up dozens, about 30 field offices just in the state of Michigan. So they hope to counteract that message that way. But another way they're doing it, Tom, and we're seeing this increasingly more and more, not just on the trail, but also here in the White House, they're trying to make the issue of immigration, they're throwing, trying to throw it back on Republicans. Republicans, essentially by arguing that because Republicans killed that bipartisan border bill that we mentioned, that they need to own this immigration issue. The Democrats now say that they agree that the border is a problem. That's something, as you know, Tom, that they didn't agree with for quite a long time. But now they're trying to make Republicans own it. Tom? Okay, Gib Gutierrez at the White House. We head now to Peru. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.